I met my high school sweetheart and it lasted into the time she passed away. So all that emotional scarring and trauma and drama and everything that came along with, you know, not finding someone at that frame in my life, it occurred. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like, because he did meet his high school sweetheart, he never had to go through all the BS I had to go through, meaning relationship after relationship or learning experiences after learning experience. Because he found love in high school. So my... He had one experience where I've had many experiences. Okay, so my direct question to that would be, where do you think he learned that from? Okay, what do you mean by I learned that from? Okay, so he found his high school sweetheart and he stuck with her, that one woman, until she died. Whereas you and I right. have had multiple women in, in high school. We probably found someone that we considered a high school sweetheart, but it didn't work. Right. We went through heartache after heartache. We've given heartache after heartache. And 40, 50, well, five, 10 women later, I got married. You got married. Got divorced. Five, 10 women later, I got married again. You got married again. I got divorced. Five, 10 women later, I got married again. I got divorced. So... Where did he learn to find that one woman and stick with her? Whereas we didn't learn that and we had multiple learning experiences because that speaks volumes to where he learned, where they learned to find each other and stick it out. Apparently you and I either didn't get taught that or we said to hell with that lesson. So, I mean, again, this was a gentleman that grew up back in the, I'm assuming the, the 50s and 60s. Okay. Wait. You know what I'm saying? So, again, it's a completely and totally different time. You know, women were more traditional back then. And, and so were men, you know, meaning men went out and they worked and they provided for their families and you know traditionally a, a woman would stay home and, and raise the family and a lot of the men had families elsewhere that nobody knew about until they died that's true but for this particular situation you could say he hit the lottery while in damn high school and you and I because said we either didn't get that lesson or we said to hell with that lesson. I would agree with that. But at the same time, I think um, when we were looking for something serious, I don't, I don't know if you were looking for something serious back then, but I was looking for a special someone even in high school. And I did not find what I was looking for. So Throughout the course of my life, I was looking for that, again, that one special thing, what people call love. Um, and I only found it after meeting my second wife. And so she accepted you know, I had to go your through, body count mm -hmm. and took a chance that you would be loyal. Whereas if it was flipped around, you'd have been like, no, nah, I can't mess with you. You got your body count too high. Right. And you don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> like I said, I know that this, most people say, yes, that's effed up. Yes, that's messed up. Uh, you wrong. But my personal preference, my life, my space, 
I get it. If I'm inviting a woman to come into my space, there are going to be certain standards that I'm looking for. I get it. So if she can't pass or meet those personal standards, then it just is what it is. You know, there's, that don't mean she's a bad person. That don't mean I hate her or, you know, anything along that line. That just means you only there for a I'm good time, for, not a long you time. You don't possess. You only there for a good time, not a long time. Exactly. I get it. I get it. I mean, and, and, and again, the, you know, the situation was flipped and she was like, you know, your body counts too high. I couldn't be mad at her for having, you know, her own personal standard or preference. I couldn't. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking you or, or doubting, you know, but my, my whole, my whole position on it is this body count shouldn't matter because at, at this, this day and age, it's like, that's a small thing to a giant, like 12 bodies in your entire life at the age of damn near 50. To me, that's nothing. Now, if, if I'm, if I'm going to be realistic and totally honest, um, and, and unrealistic, I would say a woman with 60 bodies is too many, but that, that would be being unrealistic to me for me. I couldn't judge a woman on that because hell it's been, uh, it, there were years when I've, I've had like 30 bodies in one year, 30 bodies or more in one year. So it's like, for me, I can't judge a woman on her body count when I know that in one year I've had 30 bodies. For me, that would be unrealistic. It would be, it would be overly judgmental and hypocritical of me to be like, nah, you got 12 bodies knowing damn well, I can knock 12 bodies down in three months. So from that's where I'm coming from, because it's like, if a woman knows that I've had that many bodies, and let's just say a woman knows I've had 30 bodies in a year and she still comes to me and gives me a chance to be with her. She steps into my world and welcomes me into her world because it's a give and take. I can't be like, nah, chick, you got too many bodies. When she's like, this joker got some bodies, but he's nice, he's kind, he's loving, he's this, he's that. I'm going to give it a chance. So, I mean, that's where I'm at with it. Body count don't matter. Like, if a chick had... 30 bodies and and she's 48 years old same age as me okay you had that many bodies that was then what where you at now what we doing now what are you showing me now if you show me loyalty now what you did before don't matter to me it's irrelevant because you're showing me who you are at this moment now all the heartache and BS and nonsense that I've been through and I've been through some nonsense. If I held on to that so tightly, that's on me. Just like you say, you know, it's on you and maybe, maybe you need to work through it. Maybe you don't, but it is what it is. You have your position and that's it. Cool. Man. I've been the side piece to the side piece. I've um I've had chicks uh flaunt dudes in my face. I've had dudes get up out the bed with me and go hop in the bed with another dude. Uh, I, bruh. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Did you say you had a dude you meant to say you had a female jump out of the bed with yeah. you and go hop in the bed? Yeah. Oh, I had a right. female jump out the bed with me, go hop in the bed with another dude. Just making sure we got Yeah, yeah. I, clarity. Yeah, we ain't doing clarity. no funny stuff. Clarity. But clarity. um All right. cool. my my whole point is I've been through it. I've had my heart broke. I've had my heart shredded. I look, <laughs> bruh. It, it back back in what ninety I want to say ninety five ninety six. I hopped in the car with my mother, go up to New York, forgot something, came back, 
and and the chick was chilling with her ex, and I'm like, yo, what the f- yo, really? And it's like, yo, so I've been through a whole bunch of things. So for right. for me to look at a woman with a body count in her past and say, nah, you got a body count, you can't be loyal. For me, that would be hypocritical because I've done things. Yeah. Had it done to me and I've done it. And it's like, for me, I got to, I got to push that nonsense that I've experienced and what I harbor in my brain to the side, because if I did, I would not have had the, the, the good experience that I've had with women. And I get that. And that's cool. And again, I agree that I'm being hypocritical. I agree that I'm being biased. I agree to all those things that someone could call or or say I'm being right now. Mm -hmm. I agree with you all. But that's just my stance. That's where I've come from. Those are, that's where I stand now based off of my life experiences. Um, And again, please, 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 for our listeners, I am not judging a female for being out there in the streets like that. I'm all for it. Do your thing. Just protect yourself. But again, (laughs) for a long-term relationship with me, my requirements are 12 and under. And again, someone can say you're looking for a unicorn and that's fine. Maybe I am or would be if I was single. But again, that's my personal preference. So why am I wrong for having a personal preference? In my opinion, I'm not wrong. Just like she's not wrong for having her own personal preference. If she says, you know, hey, your body count is way too high or, you know, I I can't deal with that. I cannot be mad with her. I cannot get upset. (laughs) Only thing I can do is accept that she was willing to be honest with me enough to say, I can't accept your body count. Mm. And I was like, I appreciate the honesty. Thank you. But again, we're talking about a serious relationship leading to marriage for me. Ladies and gentlemen, we talking about body counts. We're going to be back one more again to wrap this thing up. It's your man, so touch of the poet, my brother in his joint. Son, so Lex. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a good one. I look forward to the commentary, the feedback on this one, because uh, it's going to be interesting. Interesting. But we'll be back. Hee <laughs>